Hey guys, it's Poe back again with Let's Get Techy. Today we're going to take a look at a test bench from Lee and & Lee, and we're also going to compare the new Broadwell E architecture to the Haswell E. Uh, we're going to find out if it is worth your hard-earned money to go with the newer technology and the slightly improved instructions per clock. Uh, so we'll do a quick build of that test bench and then we will move into the results of Haswell E versus Broadwell E. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, for the end of the episode, I will be uh, announcing a giveaway, uh, so make sure you stick around for that. Thank God for fast forward. I'm uh, thoroughly convinced that I have, I would have lost several subscribers if I hadn't fast forwarded that part. Let's just put it that way. It was absolutely miserable building it. It literally took me at least an hour and a half, probably longer. Uh, and that's not including the 25 minutes that I spent on the ground looking for one of the screws that I had dropped. Uh, it's a great test bench. You should probably have someone else put it together for you, and I will not. All right, here are the results of Broadwell E versus Haswell E. Uh, put it in about oh, seven or eight different scenarios, uh, and we'll, we'll discuss uh, the results as soon as you uh, get done taking a look at them.
I guess. So that's the results. Uh, so I've got a couple of things that I took away from this. First, if you are looking for an X99 processor, uh, if you just want to put it in your computer and go, you're not worried about overclocking, you don't know how to overclock and you don't want to, I would probably go ahead and go with Broadwell E. Um, on the other side of that, if you're like me and you enjoy overclocking, you want to push it to get the most performance you can out of it. Uh, there were <clears throat> there were several scenarios where the older Haswell E was able to eclipse uh, even the overclocked Broadwell E. Um, the other thing is is that Broadwell E chip was running on an all-in-one liquid cooler. Uh, now, granted. Uh, my friend that I had do the testing on the Broadwell E chip for me, uh, he didn't spend several, several hours dialing in uh, his best overclock, uh, but it was running on an all-in-one. That was what he was able to quickly get up to. Obviously, I got a little bit further than him, but I was running a Hyper 212 Evo. Uh, so I was running an air cooler, and I was still able to reach... Uh, it was actually stable at 4.6, uh, but I was... Uh, at that point it was diminishing returns I wasn't getting any more performance out of it uh, so I backed it back down I was uh, I finished at 4.45 uh, that was with the memory running at 2550 and the voltage was at 1.31 uh, so I did get temperature spikes into the high 70s I think I eclipsed 80 on a couple of the cores in the package at one point um, so if you want to overclock, it's definitely something that I would recommend at the very least an all-in-one uh, liquid cooler. Um, ultimately, I would probably, well, and I went with Haswell E, so that's what I would do. Uh, you can find them much cheaper. I got mine at Micro Center on my way through Atlanta. I bundled it with that uh, gigabyte board that you saw in the video, and uh, I got a really, really, really good deal on it. Um, so... You prefer overclocking, you want to save some money, I would go Haswell E. Uh, if you don't mind spending a little bit more for uh, newer technology and you're just going to pop it in and go, I would definitely recommend uh, Broadwell E. And we've come to my favorite part of any video, and that's when I get to talk about giving stuff away. Um, so as of recording this clip, I uh, took a look on YouTube and right now the channel has 197 subscribers. I uh, just want to thank all of you so much for that. I greatly appreciate the subscribers, anyone who watches, anyone who follows us on social media. Um, so to give back a little bit for that, I have purchased three of these glorious PC gaming race masks, mats. Uh, these are mouse and or desk mats. Um, I've got one extended in black. Uh, these both are XXLs, one in white, and a second one that's in black. Uh, so I will do this giveaway on Gleam, uh, just like we did for the GTX 1060. I will leave a link to that down in the description. Uh, so go check that out for your chance to win. So again, I just want to thank you guys. I, I love to do giveaways whenever I can, and we definitely have a ton more coming. Uh, got several others here and several others on the way um, so make sure you get subscribed for that if you like the video please give us a like um, hell I don't care if you didn't like the video like it anyway and uh, stick around uh, we've got plenty more content coming uh, and make sure you're following us on social media uh, we'll see you next time